It's time to shuffle the tarot again. Let's see how much we've grown together and what's coming in for love. Come with me. Sagittarius. This is a love reading for Sagittarius. Sun, moon, or uh, Venus. Sagittarius. This is for adults only. It is for entertainment only. It's a love reading for Sagittarius. I feel like you're about to meet somebody who has a very eclectic love of coffee is like exotic coffee dealer <laughs> or drinker something to do with coffee that's for sure they love the color gold this coming love this reading will be if you have somebody in mind perhaps uh it's also for unexpected so i'm going to lay out cards for you cards for your incoming love or someone you have in mind and then after we get through the first spread, we'll top it up and top it up and top it up. We'll keep topping it up until we get, you know, some really awesome details. It may be sexual. It's why mature, mature subject warning may be sexual. It might be just loving and tender. This is you, where you're at. Some reversals here, Sagittarius. This will be their, their energy. Someone you have in mind. Perhaps they're someone you haven't met yet and they're on their way to you. Wow, everything's reversed. Sagittarius, what the F? <laughs> Is that so bad? Not all the time, right? These cards represent you, where you're at, the challenge, the bridge to the future, most probable outcome. So we have that sword energy reversed, right? The four of swords reversed. Now, when that card is reversed, it's knowing there is a need for rest and revitalization but not taking the time to do it. It also can sometimes be low self-esteem. Sagittarius, I've never once thought of you as having low self-esteem. You're usually very sexually beautiful, uh, curvy curves like nobody's business, male or female, whatever. You're usually on top of your spicy game. So maybe you've just you're just coming out of a bit of a gross phase, right? Most people are, but you especially coming out of a crappy phase. So get on your ballerina shoes and swirl your way back across the stage because you belong center stage. The Eight of Swords. <sighs> Superficial choices instead of meaningful ones. So you've made a few bad decisions in regards to love. <laughs> well, we're here to get over it. We're going to get that king upright, right? The challenging position here is that that king of pentacles is reversed. We don't want him reversed. We want him upright. When your energy as the king of pentacles is reversed, it's... Um, trying to impress the wrong people. This could be why you're coming out of a dumpy phase because you were trying to get a relationship going with the wrong person. So remember, we've got this coffee lover, exotic dealer coming into the picture who I feel like either you or they wear, like love the yellow gold or yellow, right? And wear a yellow skirt or have the yellow gold, something to do like that. I feel like they have a puppy. It's probably like a beagle. And that's going to be a telltale sign that this person is coming into your world to make an impression in your love life. The bridge card. More reversals. So that seven of cups, when it's reversed in that bridge to the future, means you have cold feet apprehensive maybe a phobia you've had is coming back to life lay that in the past with the crappy relationships that just went out the window all right throw it out 
which with the kitchen sink water or whatever that phrase is. So this is just, we're, we're doing this reading to bring you up to your living your best life. So you take from this reading what is going to make you into your best self for right now. Because your best self right now is not going to be your best self in a year from now, right? You're taking steps towards always evolving and always growing and always inviting love into your world. So we've got that four of wands reversed. Shallow. We're, get, we're, we're bringing you up, all right? If you're feeling this kind of dumpy here, we're gonna bring you up by the end of the reading. We take baby steps to surround yourself with loving individuals who allow you to rest and allow you to relax. So you're in this phase right now, it's about to end with this incoming love, right? Knight of Pentacles reversed. So, oops, yep, Knight of Pentacles. So that Knight of Pentacles reversed is the incoming energy. They've also had a shitty time. <laughs> They're maybe coming in a bit old-fashioned approach, which throws you off. Their world is reversed too right now though. They're not following their comic connection. So the two of you are going to bond over some kind of lavender ice cream, okay? The two of you are going to bond knowing that you both are at the same vibrational level of the last relationships didn't matter anymore and I need bigger and better. And this person comes in with that same attitude. So you look at each other over this soft, lavender ice cream and your eyes meet and you're like yeah is it you and they look at you like is it you king of cups reversed so that king of cups reversed is needing to be upright the good news is you've got lots of major arcana cards here right on this incoming energy so they're willing to shift and change this death card reversed they're willing to see what they can do to get in a better place. They want to be this cuddling, compassionate genius, but their last relationships wouldn't allow them to be that. You, on the other hand, refer to them as a king or queen, whatever gender identity you're needing to use in this situation. Look at the both of you just stuck. <laughs> Let's laugh it out. Get up, play your favorite song, laugh it out because this shit is all gonna change. So those were your first few cards and I hope um, it's feeling like potential for you, right? We want this to be a potential for you to move into the energy. Um, so take a breather, have a glass of wine, whatever it is you do and let's continue. So just back at it here, noticing the time is 11.11. 11. So that's perfect. You guys can, after you danced it out, you make a wish. Now let's get back to business here and see how we're going to end up with the love of your life. Well, that one wants to go there, so we'll leave it. I feel like these cards are ready as well. Ooh, leaving them unveiled for now. <laughs> okay, back to you. Reconciliation. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> now you just got through the swamp water with the crocodiles. And they're coming for you again. And you're like, hmm, are they? <laughs> no Sagittarius no time to move on yes because we've got the Sun card thought he could be casual but no I'm in love again though this is a reconciliation card sometimes so let's just talk this through initially I revolted right and I'm like no don't look back perhaps somebody has grown perhaps a Scorpio Cancer or Pisces have grown and perhaps this is someone from more than six years ago 
and they're coming back. And maybe they're going to play against you at the same time as this new love is coming. Okay, I think we've got our story here. I feel like uh, there's going to be... I'm seeing a lot of shoes. Maybe you have a lot of shoes, really gorgeous high-end shoes. Or you're going to end up with someone who can afford to buy you these gorgeous high-end shoes. All right? If that's somebody from at least six years ago, then allow them to be considered. All right? Anyone else? No, because this new love is coming. Releasing the ex. Okay. <laughs> now you know. <laughs> Romantic feelings. This is the bridge to the future, right? The ex comes up as a challenger here. So it's safe to it's safe for you to love. Again, look at that horse. We've got some knight energy galloping in um, to kind of shake your world and mix it up. And like you're gonna be going, oh, like hand gestures because you're so excited to meet this new love. So tell us more about them. Yeah, see, they've they've chosen to be optimistic perspective wise. They've had a dumpy couple of years as well, Sagittarius. They're ready for the good shit. And they have purposely shifted their perspective. And they're finding you because you are purposely shifting your perspective too. Yep. They've got you in mind with a wedding ring. Deek, 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 deek. <laughs> They've got you in mind. Yep, they want to have the talks. They're not going to shy away. They want to have the talks. They like might even kick a garbage can or something like, come on, talk. Let's talk. They're going to be that insistent that you guys communicate and make it. Yeah, they want to be part of the healing. Their energy is that gargantuan of healing that you guys are compelled to heal whatever crap from the past together and move forward. Mmm, nice. It's probably a Pisces. <laughs> yay! <laughs> I say yay because I'm a Pisces, so I know what we can do for you. Okay, let's let's keep it going here. You know what? You are gonna be worth fighting for. For this person incoming. Now I want these cards to fly out. <clears throat> I feel like they're going to give you a, a wrapped gift that is very large and thin. A big bow on it. Don't chase me. I need to chase you. Okay, direct message. Do not chase them. They need to chase you. Lady of the Lotus Born. Again, the sun card, you guys, long-term investment, save space for this incoming love. All right, save it because they're going to fill it. Don't wait, just save. You know the difference? Social media spy. They will never grow. Now, this is coming up in the challenger position. It's also under releasing the X, right? Perhaps they are an accountant. This is somebody under the age of 34. They are a healer. They've been adopted, perhaps. It suits the Pisces energy, doesn't it? Let's make a baby with Fatima. <laughs> Not that you have to, but it's going to be love like that. Mm, God, we need to make something. Feel it. Feel it deep. Let's see what their energy shows. Queen of Swords, strong, honorable, independent, and intelligent. Now, whether or not they're masculine, they're male or female, it's just very strong feminine energy that is smart with their words. All right. It could be that they are a Libra, Gemini, 
uh, Aquarius, but I feel strongly that they're a Pisces. Owned the sunrise. Today I am receiving vacation cash. I'm occasional nudity. I'm about to flutter into realization. I am erotic literature of southern sensations. Refusing me is a sin. I am that smirk on your blushing face. If you like this, this is something I've created. It's right here. It's just daily affirmations. And you can get that on Amazon. The link is below. But they're coming in thirsty for you is what this is saying. They've got money. They're about to flutter into realization. They're about to manifest into your life. Mm, look at this. Perhaps they have dark skin. Right? They, they may be very strongly cultured. believe in their very own culture strongly might be different than yours fertile ground with the page of coins right the page is receiving love it's new love it's messages it's apple it's apologetic loving all right it's very fertile making babies And there we end up with that Empress Essence, the very feminine, all around goodness, right? Good heart. Nice. Okay, let's just do a couple from this deck, I'm feeling. A couple of ritualistic incantations to, to make this even more gorgeous than it already is. What can the Sagittarian do in this Leo season? Pyramid of Light, knowing that there's deeper love coming, okay? Miracle of Isis. Now look at these two. They are a couple, and they rely on each other, and they're invested in each other. This is very Leo season reading. Power over seven scorpions. Bringing your vibrations up is what this card represents, and that's what we talked about earlier, was saving space for somebody who deserves it. I hope I see you again. Make sure you stay tuned for some uh, coven whistling.